Today we want to show you how to install the complete access wheelchair ramp. The first thing you start with is the platform. The platform will have all its legs and all its posts inside of it. Each ramp section will also have each one of its legs inside of it. Each leg will have the bolt that hooks to the handrail, which you remove. Because we don't get there until we get to the handrail. It has a lower bolt. This holds the whole thing into the platform. It also adjusts the legs. That bolt determines the alignment of this leg. When you install the leg in, you'll notice that it has an offset foot pad. That pad is designed the way it is so that it will sit underneath of the rail and underneath of the platform so that you can combine several together. Wheelchair ramps, you can stick steps, you can stick uh, decking systems, whatever you need will allow it to come because this is set underneath the building. Now if this hole fits inside this groove, all the pockets have this groove in them. Loosen the bolt up but you never remove it. Put it in place and gently tighten it. Now if this pocket, or if this leg, is setting inside the platform, then you have this leg in the right place. There's only two different legs, a left and a right. And if they're setting underneath, then they're correct. The holes will line up for the rails. But after you install the platform, you want to install the handrails on the platform before you go on to installing the ramp. Because if you don't get the rails in the correct position, then you'll have to take the ramp back apart to put them in the right position. You'll notice on one end of the platform, there are four pockets. There's two separate posts that fit in those pockets. They're both different. There's a left and a right. This inner leg fits in just like the other legs. Except there's no aluminum leg inside it. All it does is support the handrails from the ramp sections. You put it in, you tighten it up. You can tighten it as tight as you want because you're done with it at this point. If you install those correctly, they will be facing one another. And then if you install this with the, with the pad of the foot underneath the platform, you'll know that all the holes all the way around will be in the correct position. Okay, the first thing we need to do after you've got all your legs in is set your platform to your building. And then we need to adjust them into position. All it takes is a crescent wrench. Loosen them up, they'll fall into place. Make sure you hold the leg into the platform or else it will come out. Tighten your bolt. Double check to make sure you're level. Once you've checked your platform for level, go around and snug your bolts up to about 50 foot pounds of torque. Okay, at this point, we're going to install each ramp section. best if you have two people to do this operation. Now you need to take a level, put a one foot mark on it, make sure your platform is level, put that one foot mark at the edge of your platform, then take a tape measure and measure one inch down. And what that'll do is that'll give you a 1 in 12 pitch. That's the maximum you can go for ADA requirements. Now once we've set our 1 and 12 pitch on our ramp sections and adjusted our legs, which just just like the platform legs, we set a level across the face of the ramp and adjust our following leg. Once we've done that, we're ready to stick the next ramp section on. Now that you've installed all your ramp sections, we're going to go to the top and install the rails for the platform first. In your kit, four posts. Your aluminum post, there's a hole. And there's also a hole in the post. You slide the two inner posts on the inner lower post that we put on when we put the platform together. Then the rails are designed to be put either on both sides for an entry so the ramp can come straight into the door or a left or a right entry. When you've done that, the one's up against the building. Each inner leg 
has a nut welded inside of it, so you want the leg on the aluminum post to coincide with that leg. And you're going to have another post where your rail is. At this point, we install our rails. Maybe an angle on one side and a square pocket on the other. The square pocket on the next one, the angle will fit around that pocket. And the post that you installed earlier will be the end post for that rail. At this point, we put our bolts in and we're done. To install each rail, we just slide them over the post. One side's got a tube, the other side's got an angle. And it fits against the other tube of the other rail. We work from the top down. Now the, all these rails are all identical, except for the bottom rail. It has a swivel on the wedge piece. Put it in there. It'll slide on just like the rest of them. At this point, we put our inner rails on. Okay, the first hand rail you installed is the one with the large loop. It stalls at the bottom. bolt goes through the handrail and the guardrail into the leg rail. You always want to start at the bottom and you never want to tighten anything until you're completely finished. Okay, the next rail that fits after the first rail is just a straight tube rail. It has a swedge on one end and one bracket on the other. The swedge fits into the previous rail. Line up the hole with the next rail and install the bolt just like you did the first rail. The last rail you're going to install is the small loop rail. It'll slide in just like the rest. You line it up with its hole, put its bolt in. Once you've installed all the rails, you're going to want to go by, tighten up all the bolts, make sure the bolts and the legs are tightened and then install the other side. And a complete ramp can be installed in about 30 minutes.